Today we're making the reversible interest line. Keep watching. So you remember this sign. There you go. So I've got a video on that and I'll be sure to put it in the card up above so you can watch that when you're finished with this one. We're going to work on the opposite side now and I've decided to use the other half of this bag that came from Dollar Tree. I made a big sign with the other side so now I'm going to use this piece. I have just went ahead and folded it down to get an idea of where it would fit. And then I am just going to cut that out. Yeah, I made a little boo-boo there with my cutting. My line is not perfectly straight. That's okay because I can trim that a little bit and fix it. And anytime you make an error when you're cutting, uh, you can always just use something to trim it out. I'm going to cut off that top folded area. And there we go. I think this is how I want to have it in here. I don't know why the paper was so thin on that edge, but you'll see it just kind of comes off by itself. Must have been right near that fold in the bag, the original fold. So I'm going to try to fix where I made my little boo-boo there, make it a little bit straighter. That's easy enough. It's a good fit. So I'm going to take my glue stick and put this down. I'm not using a ton of glue on here because I have found that, you know, a fairly even coverage is going to give you the hold that you need. So that's all I'm going to do here. And you can use dots of hot glue in the corners if you want to, or you know, whatever you choose to use. Quality of this paper on the of the bag is really nice. It's uh, thicker than regular paper and little. It's thinner than cardstock though, but it's it's good. It's easy to smooth. It's pretty easy to work with. Now I'm going to give you some options in this video. You can trim this out with some jute cord if you would like. Any type of the decorative Christmas trim or whatever color you like since this isn't necessarily screaming Christmas. It's pretty much just a winter sign. But I've chosen to use this berry garland. You can get this at Dollar Tree as well. It comes in a few pieces. I originally thought it was two pieces, but if you look closely on the end, you could actually get four shorter pieces out of this without having to cut it. They're just twisted together nicely. If you want to double it up, you don't have to untwist it. You could just go ahead and string it along and put it around your edges. So I went ahead and decided where I want my pieces to go and because it's wired you can just easily bend it before you start gluing it to most likely decrease your odds of the glue drying too quickly and of you burning yourself. So I'm going to grab my little spatula here. This came from Hobby Lobby. But you can get any type of spatula you want or you could use the glue fingertips but because this is a tight area that I'm trying to get into I think that this flat thin edge works better, you know, to place it where I want to put it. With these little pit berries, they do, they're kind of movable, so you can fix those where you're not gluing on top of them so that they're, they're um, on the outward surface where you want them to be, and that way your wire will lay flat. You can just push them around with your fingers or with your spatula, whichever way you want to do it. They also have this trim in gold and in a white color. And I think at different seasons, you know, they have a darker red and they have orange and things like that. But I hope they keep this for all the seasons because this, it really is nice. And it's easy to work with. Gives it a little extra something, especially if you're into rustic or farmhouse or a woodland theme. Just go ahead and finish trimming that out. And then if you have any glue that seeps out, you can just pull those pieces off 
I'm forever pulling off glue string spider webs. And if you didn't watch the other video, which you really should, if you didn't watch that video, I got this particular sign as a fall decoration from Big Lots a few years ago. And I got it on clearance after the holidays. I didn't really care for the style of it. So I went ahead and painted one side with chalkboard paint. And that's the sign that's already decorated. And then I took some, I think it's called Navajo um, paint to put on this side. Of course, I could have just not put anything on this side since I'm putting a bag on top of it. But I did because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it, but I knew that I wanted to use it. And a shout out to the maker of these bags. These designs are gorgeous. They really are just beautiful. These are the little sticker packs that you can get from Dollar Tree. You're just going to pull, pull the little foam sticky piece off of there and use a little hot glue. And I want to put some here in the corners. I think the snowflake is appropriate considering this is a snowy scene. And if we want this to be a winter sign, it looks nice. I've chosen to leave it the natural color that uh, as it came rather than painting it. But you could always paint yours white if you'd like. I'm going to put a jute bow on the top of mine. So I'm taking about probably 14 inches here and I'm going to cut four equal pieces. You can use more, you can use less, depending on the thickness of the bow that you like. Then I'm going to do a simple shoestring bow. Two rabbit ears, cross them over. And there you go. You can make the tails as long as you want, so you can go ahead and adjust your bow the length of the ears. And that's what I'm doing here. Cute is pretty forgiving. And then just choose which which area you want to place your bow. So I could do it at the top, I could do it somewhere on the bottom. These are just options that I left in for you so you can decide how to make it your own. You could actually use a piece of garland and make a wreath if you would like. Do something like that. These are snowflake ornaments that came from Dollar Tree. I've had these for years. I usually put them in my Christmas tree. So there's a good look too. If you choose, you can embellish the center of that wreath. And I have a magnet that's going to be perfect right there in the middle. This magnet came from Hobby Lobby, I do believe. And I'm just going to peel that off. I started to pull it off with my pliers and it broke the corner. And I realized that it could easily just be peeled off with a little force by hand. So I went ahead and pulled it off. And look at the tag for the tailgate of my beautiful little 1956 Ford. I don't really know what year it is or if it's a Ford, but that's what I'm going to call it. I was in Cracker Barrel the other day, clearance shopping, and I saw a model truck there that is a 1956 Ford. Or maybe a Chevy. I'm not sure. What do, what do you think? What is this? What is this truck? If you had to do a year in a model, what do you think? I just think it's gorgeous, whatever it is. And it's vintage looking and it is very rustic and farmhousey. All right, so we're gonna have some options here for greenery. If you wanna add anything to embellish the bottom, you could also just use stickers and put some words down there or you could freehand something down there if you want to. But we're gonna put something in the road behind the tree to give it a little dimension. And these little bottle brush trees you can get. I'm not sure where this one came from, but most likely the Dollar Tree. It's been in my crafting supply for a while, so I can't tell you for sure since it was out of the package, but you can definitely get them there. And this has little flecks of white in it, so I thought it was appropriate. In order to get this to lay flat against the sign, I am just taking the bristles down almost to the stem on one side. 
Then I'm going to add a good amount of glue there and just hold him down because the bristles have a tendency to press it back up from the surface. So just hold it there for a minute. Let it get some grip before you let go of it. And there we are. Now you can just add some bits and pieces. This is from a, I think a cedar or a fern pick. I think it's cedar. And it's frosted. So I'm just going to add some of that along the bottom with some hot glue. And then I'm going to take another little piece that came off of some thrifted greenery. And it is also frosted. And decide where I want to put him. He's more like a pencil tree. I think he'll go great in this corner. And again, it tries to push away from the surface, so just be sure you secure it down before you do anything else with it. What do you think so far? It's good? Would you leave it like this? I wanted to add a little more dimension here to really make that a more like a 3D look. So I've decided to take some more of that jute twine that we use for our bow and a dot of glue to secure it around the corner of that. I guess you could call it a magnet. That's what it was originally but our sign, and I'm just gonna wrap that and secure it in the corner here, and then take that around one more time. Give it a second to dry, and then go ahead and clip that off. And there we go. What do you think? Isn't this a great option to have on the other side of that sign? Now you've got a beautiful scenery on both sides of that sign. Thanks for coming back and watching this video. Welcome to all my newcomers. I'm going to see you guys again soon. Bye.